Yo, what's up, Fika Kid and Nate here, and today I'm going to be talking about a long dead series that may potentially, very highly possibly, come back. Nostalgia Overdrive may return. Now, some of you may or may not remember that a long, long time ago, I had a YouTube channel called Nostalgia Overdrive. This was back when I was at college, so it was quite a long time ago. It was originally intended to be retro game reviews, but due to time constraints, it was just retro gameplays. Two of them. We are Nostalgia uh, Overdrive. We haven't even got a proper intro yet, have we? Uh, I don't think so. I'd prefer if we had the square pad, but we haven't got one of those at the moment. In this one, this was the only one that actually had points, but I'm assuming Capcom were like, you know, that sucks, let's just remove that. If you die, then you go right there. And that's just cheap, isn't it? It's like restarting your start shot. Starting your in shot of those Susies, I think that's what they're called. Look at this guy, hamburger. <laughs> hamburger with lasers. <laughs> and this is Aye. Rockman 2, also known as Mega Man 2, because we're playing the Japanese versions still. Aye. And this is also our intro to the Star Joker Drive. There he is. Notice how, no, notice how in the Japanese version there was no difficult mode, it was only start game. Mm. That was added in in the, in the English release, or like the worldwide release. Also, notice, mm. that's, notice, how, cl notice how it says Clashman, it's Crashman. Ah. It actually says Clashman. Clashman. Then obviously, as soon as I left college, I thought, well, I don't know anybody who can play retro games with, because it, it's, it's more special when someone's actually right next to me playing them with me instead of online because that kind of uh, like it's kind of doesn't really you know but I was just on the phone with someone very special and he is my brother-in-law his name is Richard despite his age he fucking loves retro games and on top of that he lives very close by like Walking distance level. He, I could, I could walk to his house, and he could walk to my house. It's that bloody close. So what I'm thinking of Nostalgia Overdrive, I'm thinking of if I bring back Nostalgia Overdrive as Nostalgia Overdrive Reborn, or still just with the name Nostalgia Overdrive, that I would not use the YouTube channel because keeping up multiple YouTube channels is, it's way more work than it than necessary. So Nostalgia Overdrive has a very strong chance because I was just on the phone with them and I said, uh, like I was, mess I was messaging him on Discord saying, hey, would this be okay? And he said, he loved the idea of it. The, oh, I love this whole YouTube thing. Oh yeah, I'll be more than happy to. So that is a strong possibility and I'm bloody excited because he loves retro games as much as I do. I've actually been recently getting him into the world of emulation and fan games. And, because he, he, he grew up as a Sega kid, and I even showed him the fan Streets of Rage remake. He bloody loved it, like he couldn't stop playing it, and it was, it was really amazing to see. Like he was just like, oh my god, yes, yes, as he was playing it, as he was like, yes. Obviously, I don't know when it'll be revived because, sure, because after all the things that have been going on, Richard every now and then he comes to visit, but sometimes he might be busy because, you know, he, he has a family. You know, he has an entire family of six kids, so it's kind of like, ugh, yay, no. He, he might not be available for very long, but he still might be available for long enough. So anyway, I've been your host Pikachu and it. This has been Pikachu and it chat, and you've all been fantastic. So until the next video, I say bye bye.